Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my very first video. My name is Sugar, I'm from Shug's Art, S-U-G-S-A-R-T-S, -S, uh, which you can find at shugsarts.com. Uh, today I wanted to go through what my pendulum setup looks like in order to do pendulum pour painting. So the first thing that I want to go through is just kind of what supplies you need. So I went online and purchased condiment um, bottles, squeeze bottles. Um, I happen to have gotten 16 ounce size, uh, but there's smaller ones if you don't want to do that. I did make sure to get a screw top instead of just one of those flip caps so that when you do remove that and the paint is coming out the bottom that you're not going to have a cap that might hit the string that's coming down. First thing you want to do is go ahead and cut off the bottom. Uh, try to do that as level as you can. Um, then you're going to want to put a couple of screw holes in. Uh, so just with a drill. And what I did was I measured from the bottom, well I guess technically the top of the bottle where that edge is, down to the bottom so that the holes on either side were level to where the paint is going to be streaming out from. With that, I also tried to put the holes as close to the top as possible um, so that you weren't running into problems of the hooks, which I'm going to show you in a second, uh, not running smoothly. So here is kind of the four setup. And then here's what I did after. These hooks here are actually pre premium fishing tackle um, hooks. So I can add a link in to the description uh, for them. And it just has a hook on kind of both sides. Um, so you can have control over maybe putting a string in this side and leaving it permanently and then adjusting here. But what I did was did hook into each one of those holes Oops, sorry and then a little bit of a string and then another hook I did similar setup with the string coming from the top so right now I'm out in a garage and you can see here that I have a little string attached to the top of the garage door uh, track I guess is the name of it and then a string that comes down into another hook and I have the length of this set up so that you can add you can go ahead and hook that on if I can manage to do it with my left hand so therefore you can center your pieces and work on getting it set up exactly how you want it. There is a secondary pendulum besides just this single point. There is a double point pendulum as well. I'll give you a link to kind of show you what patterns those are. For that, what I've done is I've got two hooks up there. And then I've got sets of strings that have different sizes for kind of this loop section. And then has the straight on piece that is also measured uh, based on canvas. I'll set you back down. One of the other important things to do is to make sure you have some weight um, on whatever container you're using. I went and purchased, oh, these are just adhesive steel wheel weights. Again, I'll put that link in the description. And I had done some measuring, and it happens to fit just perfectly around my 16-ounce bottle. And it's self-adhesive. So I go ahead and take off the adhesive part. And I'm going to want to put it along this bottom edge. Just like that. It fits nicely all the way around. And then I go ahead and add on some duct tape to secure it. This will also be helpful for when you're washing your bottles out. Uh, having the smooth weights I found to be really important. The first time I tried it I did um, like fishing weights which were not smooth. And so when I was working on cleaning bottles out 
I would have a horrible time of water getting in between the bottle and the tape. So it never really stayed on very well. So that's kind of the setup. I'm going to go ahead and do a pendulum pour for you. Um, with this, the ratio that I have found that works, at least with this size hole, is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, and then one part water. And I'm going to make sure you have a piece of paper or a cardboard or something to catch the paint for when you are wanting to stop the pendulum. I'm going to go ahead and move these other, other products off, or supplies off. I like to do practice swings before I release. So I want to make sure that I'm doing it how I want. I kind of watch how the bottle goes so I can see approximately where the paint's going to come down so that I'm getting the pattern that I'm going after. It's going to be important to go ahead and do a quick test of your paint to make sure that's running smoothly and thin enough. So, here we go. Just like pour painting, it gets messy, so make sure you have drop cloths down, paper down, whatever it is that you're looking to protect your space. And we'll take you in for kind of a better viewpoint once I get this stopped. It's easy to let it go a little bit further than what you want, so I want to make sure I'm paying attention. Almost there. Go ahead and do a catch like that. You want to go ahead and put that cap back on. Take this off so it's a little bit out of the way. Sorry about my bad angles here at the moment, but that is what the pendulum comes out as, at least on this one. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this answered some questions about the setup. Um, I'll put all the links for supplies down below and a link to show patterns for the double point pendulum because there's some really cool, cool stuff to play with. I just have not gotten as much play with that as I wanted to. Anyway, you all have a good one.